All right, guys, welcome back. I actually have the drone in the air right now, and uh, my phone's on the controller. As you can see, I got the cord here. But uh, welcome back to another video. I got the drone there. I uh, got a bunch of grass. I was at the steer farm. My lawn tripper is still over there, but I was sweeping up the grass, and uh, I was loading it onto the trailer. So now I got unloaded onto this pile of grass I threw here last year. But yeah, that's what's been going on. Got the 140. Uh, I think this tire's a little too blown up. I had to blow it up today, so might have blown it up a little too much. But yeah, um, nice sunset tonight. Uh, it's not all the way down yet. It's probably gonna get a lot better once once it goes all the way down. But yeah, I'm gonna unload this grass and uh, yeah, I'll let you guys know what happens. All right, guys. So I just. Uh, Unloaded this. This is a really big uh, mountain of grass here. Uh, I'm probably gonna come up with the, with the skid loader and mix this all together so it's not so separated like this because this stuff is older from last fall. It's already decomposing and uh, yeah, I'm gonna mix this in. This stuff literally smells like hay. It smells so good right now. And uh, yeah, there's still more to get, so I'm uh, probably gonna have maybe another trailer load if not maybe like two-thirds of the size of what this one was because this one was pretty packed in there and uh yeah obviously i didn't get all of it is i just grabbed it with my hands i didn't have any like special machinery so i just uh grabbed it out of there and my dad's working on the plant right now because we're gonna be planting soon obviously because it's like may it's like May 10th right now and we're still not planting, so hopefully we can get planting soon. Uh, yeah, so it's going on. And we are almost done with tillage. We have to just take the land all, the vertical till land all. We have to take that over to one of our other farms and then I'm gonna go back in the 140 and uh, drive back down to the shop. All right guys, so right now I'm on the 140. Got the trailer and the lawn sweeper on it, and I'm heading back to the main farm right now. I'm on the road. Uh, yeah, I'm just cruising here and heading back to the main farm. But yeah, it's a nice day out. It's like 70 or 75, so hopefully, we can get some more stuff done today. It's already 4 o'clock though, so I don't know how much I'll get done. Let's make sure. There we go. All right. I'm going back to the main farm.
Alright guys, so I'm in the shop right now. The clips you just saw were planting with the 6 and the 7400. So, uh, yeah, we've been planting. And the 12 row has been having some problems with the vacuum thing. The, like, the vacuum planting. That's how it plants. But should be getting ready to go soon. Uh, yeah, it's just outside right here. Show you guys out the window. You can see across the driveway, you can see the 7800 and the the 12 row so yeah i'm just in here in the shop and uh yeah so i think that's all that's going on right now uh yeah that's all i can think of all right guys so i'm out here at the ford 220 we have to have this tractor on the manure spreader for a while because uh all of our other tractors are out on the they're either in the fields or they're being used or they're in the shed or they're broken so there's not really tractors to be used except we had to bust out the old 4320 it gets you done but it's not the most practical for the spreader it's a little too small uh, yeah I think we're gonna hopefully get the uh, 7800 back on it soon but I don't know we'll see all right guys so I'm in the Kubota right now and the plan for right now is to Go grab the skid loader, scoop up some uh, plastic that, uh, well not plastic, I mean, oops, I messed up my words a little bit, but we need to pick up some rotten feed that needs to go into the manure spreader, which I have parked right there, because I just went and ate supper, but I got the uh, R220 I'm going to grab here, and I'm going to have the 4320 with the spreader getting loaded up. I'll load that up and uh, yeah, so I should, I'm gonna get the pallet fork and see if I can drag out some of that plastic. So I'm gonna go grab that quick. All right guys, so I've got the pallet forks that are out here, but I don't like these pallet forks because look, I uh, just put the bucket all the way down and they should be like digging into the ground right now, but they just like level out. So these kind of aren't that good for what I need to do with them because I need to be grabbing this, all this plastic and they're not ideal for what I'm doing but they might work good enough so we'll see if I can get this done. Um, Alright guys so I got the Gale R220 out here and I uh, there's a lot of stuff to scoop out here so I'm going to go grab the 4320 and I'm gonna be loading it up and then going to spread it. It's kinda dark out, hopefully it doesn't rain though. We have two grain trucks full of corn sitting outside right now, so we'll see, but I think we can, I'm gonna grab that tractor there and fill her up. All right guys, so I'm walking up to the 4220 right now. I bet a lot of you guys didn't even know we had this tractor. But yeah, let's climb in here. Okay, it's in park. Start her up. There we go. All right, so I'll show you guys how to drive this thing. So what you're gonna wanna do, you have it started up, right? Push in the clutch, grab this lever, pull it down, and we're just gonna go into like gear five, right? And then you push, pull this one, you pull it down one more time, and then you're in uh, five going forward. But if you would pull it down another time, you'd be in five to go backward. But we're gonna go forward, so we're gonna do that. Rev it up a little bit, and you should be able to go. There we go, we're moving. Yeah, now you guys know how to drive a John Deere 4320, so it might come in useful if you have to drive one. Alright guys, 4320 is parked. I'm going to hop in the R220 and uh, start bucketing some of this in. It's going to be more than one load for sure. I'm thinking probably one or two here and then over there. I think there's two piles over there maybe. Maybe. Oh yeah, there's two piles there. I think I can haul out that little pile right there. But I think I can haul at this too. I'm just gonna have to make sure. I'll call and make sure. But this looks like it's all dirt that got scraped out. 
so I don't haul that out. Maybe some of this stuff, but I don't know. It might have rocks in it. We'll see. I'm just going to fill up this uh, tractor here. And we'll see what I can do here. Alright guys, I did, uh, I just spread that load that you just saw, uh, came back, I had to grab some fuel in the 4320, so I did that, now I'm back up here, gonna be loading up the rest of this, should, that should all fit in the load, I think, it's not that much, but, yeah, that's what I'm gonna be doing now, and, uh, there's some more over there I gotta get, uh, We'll see how that stuff looks and then we'll see if we can put that in tonight. It's already like almost eight o'clock, so we'll see what we can get done. All right guys, I got load three here. Uh, it's been, it's getting pretty wet over here, I think. It's, uh, the load has been slipping around out here. Can't really get much traction, especially on this uh, plastic here that I've been having to drive on. It's already 8.34, so I might just, uh, call it a night we'll see for now and then I'll come back out here tomorrow maybe or the next day so we'll see because this needs a lot of cleaning up yet it's a really it's a big mess out here I really wish we had the like a concrete pad out here that'd be nice for our bags because the bags just turn to total slop when we're not well when it's not dry out here when we have to clean them up it's really bad so I'm going to haul this out and I might call it a night, but that's probably going to be it for this video. If you enjoyed, subscribe and uh, thanks for watching. Bye guys.